So we're entering the three weeks, which is a time of mourning that the Jewish people go through once a year, mourning the destruction of the temple, the Beit HaMikdash, which uh, was in Jerusalem. And the question that baffles pretty much any objective person today is, why are we so continually obsessed with this temple? What was so special about this temple that we're still mourning it 2,000 years after the Romans destroyed the second temple, the second Beit HaMikdash? What is the big deal? Why was it so important to us? Why are we so distressed that we, that we mention it the whole time? You look at Jewish prayers, it's mentioned the whole time in every single type of ritual, whether it's lighting the Shabbat candles to grace after meals to the prayers we say uh, in the standing prayer, always mentioning it. Why are we so upset that we've lost it? What is it? You know, it's interesting. Uh, the, if you look at the, the account of Genesis, God creating the world, it's a very short part of the, the Torah. And then as you get through the story of Genesis and the forefathers and then the Exodus and liberation, they go into the desert, then there's a very lengthy part of the Torah, which is about the temple service. What was then, they then had a, initially had a mobile temple, what was called the Mishkan um, in the desert. And eventually they created a sort of a more permanent structure when they went to Israel and set it up in Jerusalem. But a huge chunk of the Torah itself is about the building of and the, the laws governing and how one experienced the temple. So uh, Tony Blair, the former prime minister of the UK, um, was actually is a, quite a religious guy and he read the Bible every single day. And Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, the late Rabbi Sachs, uh, former chief rabbi, um, Zecha Sadik Levracha, was um, <laughs> called up by uh, Tony Blair he, when he was Prime Minister, he called Rabbi Sachs and he said, Chief Rabbi, um, you know, I've, I read the, the Bible every night and I'm currently in the Old Testament, as he would call it. And, uh, you know, I've done Genesis and all that kind of stuff and uh, I've got to the boring bit. <laughs> That's what he called it, the boring bit. And uh, Rabbi Sachs obviously smiled on the phone and Tony Blair said to him, you know, Rabbi, I don't understand. The Torah, God devotes such a short amount of time to creating the entire world. And yet the, the functioning of this temple has to take up such a huge chunk. And it's so detailed and specific and seemingly deal with a lot of um, minute fine details. Why the contrast between the two? So <laughs> Rabbi Sachs said, I don't know whether he said this at the time or I sort of had a bit of a think about it and then went back to him. He said, Prime Minister, I've concluded that the reason for this is because it's very easy and straightforward for God to create a home for man, but it's far more challenging for man to build a home for God in this world. And actually, understanding what the temple was as a home for God really helps us make sense of the whole point of Judaism, what the Jewish mission is all about. See, that was what the temple was meant to be, and it is meant to be, a home for God. You know, you go to see your friends, visit your friend in his home, you go to see your auntie in her home, well, where do you go to visit God? Now, yes, God is everywhere, but God made himself most accessible and most available for deep transcendental, transcendental connection in the temple. So it was the, our access point, our focal point for experiencing God. It was God's home. Let's go see God. <laughs> Let's go visit God, experience God, have our most intimate connection with him, connection point for humanity. It, you, would, you would have left the temple a different person because you'd come so close to experiencing God. But understanding the, obviously I'm sure now you can, you can appreciate how significant that would be, but it represents what Judaism is all about. Because Judaism says the reason why God created the world is because, as the Midrash says, he wants to create a dira betachtonim, a dwelling place, a home in the lowest of all worlds, earth, planet earth. That was why he created the universe, because he wanted to, he, he, he wants to, of course, a relationship with, with us. But the way he did that was by creating the most earthy physical existence and then create, allowing for the physical and the, the finite and the, 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 uh, the mortal 
to to connect to God by you know you have two it's it's almost to create as much separation as possible and then to allow for that that reconnection that's the most powerful form of of chosen relationship where two distinct parties are coming together so for him to come down to the lowest world and, and have that relationship with us here and our job is to create that home for God down here to make this place hospitable for and comfortable for the divine to rest and to dwell here and so the purpose of Judaism is to build a home for God on earth to make this world more godly and it's so representative of what every single thing we do in Judaism everything every single thing is about because it's about making this world more godly and making this more holy than heaven not heaven see most religions are about how are we going to get to heaven what do I need to do to get to heaven but Judaism was never about that it's how do we make earth more heavenly how do we make it more heavenly than heaven how do, not how do I get to heaven how do we bring heaven and God down to earth it's not about my need to get there, it's about his need to come here, to have a relationship with us. And actually religion becomes extremely dangerous when it's all about how do I get over there? When we say, oh, it's a, they've gone to a better place. No, in Judaism we say this is the better place. Heaven is a more comfortable place, but we believe it is a temporary retirement home and eventually that's why we always talk about the resuscitation of the dead where we come back to planet Earth. All of us come back to planet Earth to and death becomes removed. We hate death, we don't like death, we accept it as a temporary reality. But eventually, if it was all about going to heaven, then why do we all get resuscitated? We talk about Machai Hamitim. What would that be about? What's the point in that if it's just about getting to heaven? No, we're not trying to get to heaven. That's our temporary time at home where eventually we believe the souls get resuscitated and we continue to live here. This is the better place. Why? Because here we can experience the power of us being here on planet Earth and God coming towards us and us building and forging that ever closer connection by serving him, by making this place even more hospitable for him, by us earthly beings being, being down here and creating that environment that allows God to become closer and closer and closer. And so we're much happier being here, serving him, making this place more hospitable for him so that we can continue to make this place more godly and continue to grow and feel that sense of intimacy and connection at a deeper and deeper level over time. And that's what the temple was. And the temple allowed for a much greater experience of godliness in our day-to-day -day lives. And it represents really what all the mitzvot are about and everything that we're striving towards. To make this place here holy, more heavenly, more godly, good, whole and complete. And so we mourn it even though we don't exactly know what it is we're mourning. But because we, we, you know, we didn't experience that level of connection. But we can all understand that there is a void, that coming much closer to our creator and being able to experience that intimacy and serve him in a more palatable and tangible way, I think all of us can, can relate to that. And all of us can certainly yearn for a world in which goodness and godliness and less selfishness and more selflessness is predominant in society. That's what we're yearning for and that's why the temple is so fundamental to everything we're trying to do, to create in this world a home for which God can dwell. I'm Ollie Annisfeld and you're watching JTV.